front tonight. And Barbara, I mean, this is pretty shocking. I mean, there is there is nothing more important than overseeing the, the biggest and most dangerous nuclear arsenal on the planet. What is going on here and how is the Pentagon responding to two such important officers being fired in the same week? Well, you have to believe that Defense Secretary Chuck Hagel not happy about all of this in a week when he's been dealing with the shutdown, with troops not being paid, his people laid off, death benefits not being paid. Now he's got to deal with this. Not a happy secretary. Let's look at these two cases, Aaron. Today, Air Force General Michael Carey uh, in charge of all 450 land-based intercontinental nuclear ballistic missiles fired. Allegation is personal misbehavior. Our sources are telling us it involved alcohol, and yet he remained on the job for several months, fired today. The second, Navy Admiral Tim Giardina, second in charge at Strategic Command. So he had charge of overall nuclear forces, number two there, command and control, strategic decision-making for the defense of the United States. The allegations against him, we are told, involve gambling. Aaron. It's just, uh, it's unbelievable. Now, okay, you, you could say this, and then some people might say, well, there's a lot of people in charge of the nuclear program, so does this really matter? I mean, let me ask you, these two people have incredibly significant titles when it comes to securing the nuclear arsenal of the United States. Uh, will their removal impact national security? Look, the Pentagon leadership says adamantly, nuclear weapons were always safe. They have multiple controls. It's not a problem. But the reality is, especially in the Air Force, the nuclear uh, tr uh, forces in the Air Force have run into a lot of trouble lately. One unit had a failed safety and security inspection earlier this year. Another unit had 17 Air Force personnel removed for not doing their jobs. They went through retraining because of what one officer called rot, his words, rot in the Air Force nuclear force. So this is a part of the Air Force that's had a lot of problems, a lot of trouble, and most top officers will tell you it needs a good deal more scrutiny. Aaron?